Hey people, it's Zami here, back with the next part of my Dark Souls 2 replay on PS5. So last time uh, we took on Dragon Eerie and the Dragon Shrine, um, we defeated the Eaten Dragon as well, and uh, we got the Ashen Mist. So now we're able to dive into the memories of the Giants, get the last three um, Souls of the Giant, um, and that'll basically allow us, um, doing these three memories, memories will allow us to complete the game, um, but it'll also allow us to defeat Vendrick. So what I'm thinking is in this episode we'll do the memories, and then as long as we're not like, running out of time because something ridiculous has happened in the memories, then what we'll do is we'll also go and kill Vendrick as well. And maybe even go and get the king set too. Oh, you have to go for the jump and attack. How is that not a guard break? It's not even like worth it. Ah, oh. forlorn. There we go. Right. Time to dive into the memories. Uh, just get a little bit more health going here. Okay, I think we're good. So there's this one here, there's this one just after the boss room for the penetrator. And then there's the one behind the gate that we need the dragon's, uh, sorry, the king's ring for. You've got to be uh, quick with these memories as well because they, it's like timed. I think there's a thing with that guy, so basically, after you've defeated Vendrick maybe, if you come back and speak to that guy, then he'll give you the helm, I think it is, for um, the Grand Lady set. Oh, I thought that was further along. We'll kill that guy, but we probably will skip a lot of the guys here. Oh, there's the final fire seed. See, I didn't need to buy it. It was here the whole time. But yeah, as I mentioned, because of the time element... God. Then we'll probably run past these guys, especially since we want to try and grab as many of the items as, as we can. Cross. These guys will all be having a merry old scrap. We'll leave them to it for now. Uh, I think, is there an item up there? There may be an item up there. Giant Warrior Club. Chest here. Yeah, there's only really one of these guys that you. Well, you don't even have to kill him, but he's the most in the way, I would say. 
this should be a ladder. There's the ladder. And this will take you up here. Be very wary of the pyromancer guy because he can mess you up big time. Ah. So I think, yeah, there's an item here. There's another item when we come up the top here after we defeated the giant, and then there's the giant soul, which is the whole purpose of coming here. No! Yeah, I am hit. It's hard to really tell. She was my uh, my puny reach on this weapon. There we go. Okay, so we just grab this here. Hope we have another message to say that the the mist is fading, so we should be okay. Soul of a giant. Examine again. And there we go. First memory done. Try not not to get blown up by here. This one is a little more chaotic, if I remember right. I think if one of them is going to take more than one attempt, it's probably this one. Because uh, there's quite a few items that you have to grab. But what I recommend, I think with this one, um, because of the layout of the level, is kind of better to get to a point where you've at least grabbed the soul of the giant and then you can always um, you can always just run back then and grab the other items uh, Ben Hart would be in here if we'd done his quest line he'd be chilling and this should be kind of the last point that you meet him I can't remember, I know there's two points in here where there's lock stones, and one of them is something decent, and one of them there may be nothing. Oh, this guy's like alive for days. Okay, I think that Seconds lockstone is the one that's um, basically got nothing in it. Be wary of trap. Yeah. So basically, that. Uh... Oh, crap. That lockstone does nothing. This one does. So the steel set, nice, okay. And another fire seed. So yeah, more than enough in, in a playthrough to max it out. I was just being impatient. Our warmth lasts so long. Right, one more. We are on a time limit. Lest we forget. Uh, I 
again, the Pyromancer is the one you want to watch out for. You're going to kill one of them. Kill that one. Um, and watch out for the... Uh, the Archer guy there. able to, so obviously there's a one drop down over there which we'll go back to, but we want to try and do this first if we can. Ah, uh, no! No! Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, basically there's a room there. Um, so we will try again for that. Let's get these guys to engage with him. The giant crossbows. Oh no, they hit me instead. Another item over there to grab. We'll go up here first though. We will have another crack doing that roll. Normally those guys like attack you pretty much straight away. Quite surprising to be honest. Yeah, that guy is in there protecting whatever's in me. Uh, then this will just take you to the beginning. So I'm gonna try that roll. We've got the soul of the giant anyway, that's the main thing. Um, we've dealt with everybody need to deal with. Let's just hope that we can land on that ledge. A bit more cleanly this time. And hope that this guy isn't too much of a bother. Way we did it. So you gotta do that, but then you've also gotta do a jump. Nope. Okay, no we didn't need to do a jump. Oh! <gasps> The one shot! No! No! Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's not expecting that. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. For some reason I keep having it in my mind that you can just run off the edge of those steps, but obviously not. Okay, well at least I, I kind of worked out the exactly where to roll, so... If I can just do that roll again, that would be good. If I do it first time, we've got like a lot less crap to deal with. Fully healed. So we'll do this swiftly, but try and do it a bit carefully because we don't want to lose all our stuff. down as well. Okay. Right. Don't get smacked with a hammer this time. So an annoying how it stuns you because of the ground. Like it just vibrates the ground and then stops you moving. First item is not worth it. Let's 
check what was the second item. Three vampire aesthetics. Okay, I suppose depending on what your aim is with it, with your playthrough, then that may might be worth it. So if you're trying to get a load of stuff um, on your first playthrough, then it can definitely come in handy. But for normal playthrough, not so much. Okay, right, last item, and then we can get the Jeff out of here. City mistakes now. You can die. Because you annoy me. Right, last item. I believe. Whew. Okay. Right. Time now for the boss. Got plenty of heals, no need to go back. Once he's gone, he's gone, is he? Quickly swap to the King's Ring. Come on, Gates. Oh, we probably have to do a warp here anyway, actually. Yeah, because there's... Um, this here. Yeah, so we can the Titanite and another branch. Uh, I mean, we've got our aged feather now anyway, so... It's a free warp. You want to do like a low level twink build that's something that a lot of people do um, so they come here right at the start of the game obviously you, you generally come to uh, the forest of the giants anyway um, and then they just basically jump from there to right on this ledge around here just like that little ground under there um, and then they get the two twink and the titanite straight away and they also got the branch really um, so as long as you can grab a decent weapon, then you're good to go. It's also um, the best. I think it's I still yeah, it's gonna still be is the best um, place in the game to get souls. So obviously it's a very small area cut off, so you can use bonfire aesthetics all you want uh, without worrying about affecting the rest of your world. Um, every time that you come back here after burning one bonfire aesthetic, you get another one filled back up for you. So there's that as well. So you don't really need to worry about running out of bonfire aesthetics. Um, Oh, I thought I was out of his uh, line of sight. Clearly not. But yeah, basically when like, it's a very easy boss to fight, it's very close to the bonfire. You get infinite bonfire aesthetics, and obviously you can also sell the items that you pick up here. Because uh, this guy, he drops you a ring every time you beat him.
sell those rings too. And they actually worth a fair amount. Ooh, with the... I don't know how his attack hit me then. So, Giant's Kinship. So that's what you need to be able to end the game, Kinship. He doesn't drop the ring that time, but I think every time you beat him again, um, he drops... Is it the Ring of Giants too? It's, it's, what, it's the ring that gives you poise, basically. I'm um, just seeing that the... Okay, it's just tight knife. Okay, uh, there's nothing down there. Right, here we go. So that should be, yep, five souls of a giant. So you get a very decent amount of souls from completing him and then basically it just stacks up and stacks up. What you could also do is you can, um, because obviously at the moment we've got, what have we got on? I mean, you've got the you've got the serpent's ring. You can also go and kill the merchant in Medulla, and his full set gives you more souls as well. Uh, I think there's a is there maybe a shield or something? I think there's something else you can stack as well, that's slightly better. Um, but yeah, you just basically add it all together, and you get an absolute bucket ton of souls. Uh, grave entrance. No, I'm looking at the wrong place. Uh, undead ditch. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so we got all five souls, so obviously we got the one from the gi the two giants in the Black Gulch. Um, we got the one from the Ancient Dragon, and then the three from those three memories. Uh, and then you just come here. And you can fight this guy, because basically what happens is... Like, basically, if you have no souls, his stats are modified, so he's got super high defense. Um, but basically, every time you get one of those souls, it reduces it by a percentage. Um, so, um, obviously, once you've got all five, then it's reduced to a point where he's just like fighting a normal boss. Um, it's still one to watch out for, I would say, because... Um, He's still quite strong, um, and his, I mean his, his health is still quite high, you can see like we're not chunking him like the other giant we just did. But what's quite dangerous about him is his tax can like either one or two shot you. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, basically his, his attacks stun lock you, um, and there's not a lot you can do about it. Like I was saying in one of my previous videos, I'm, I'm sh pretty sure that Poise used to be a lot more overpowered on this game, and sim like a lot more similar to Dark Souls 1. Um, yeah, it just feels like even though I'm uh, tanky as anything, most things can uh, stunlock me. I can 
go back to that if I need it. That is most definitely a one shot. Okay. You want to try and stay close to him if you can. Um, stay on this left leg as I was in the last fight. Just because you just got to be careful because the sword can really trail around, even though it looks like because he swings from right to left, it can just catch you so easily. So obviously watch your stamina. See, so if I hadn't rolled, then that would have definitely caught me. So you don't want to get too far away from him because he will do the jump and attack as well. I think I should just roll that attack just to be safe. It's just I don't want to miss my chance to attack him. He's getting very close to the warmth and I don't like it. <laughs> right, come over here. Away from warmth. Stay away from the wall. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't go for any more than two attacks. Um, if you're a slower weapon as well, one is probably your limit. Yeah, he's right on the wall now. Yeah, so you'll either do a jump or you do that run in two hits. Come out of you quite quickly, so just be careful. Right, let's reset ourselves a little here. Yeah. Boop. Way there we go. Whew. Um, and then, obviously, now we've got the Ashen Mist, you can go and speak to him. Um, but what I would recommend is that you wait, as I said, until you've done all the DLCs. Okay, let's just spend a, uh, a little bit of this. Just so we don't lose it all. Uh, let me just double check. Do I want any more ADP? I think probably 100 is, is more than enough. I put my intelligence up to 10 just so I've got some sort of magic resistance because... Um, yeah, it was just bad. <laughs> Anytime I came into uh, any sort of uh, magic, it just wasn't uh, the best on me. Um, I'm just trying to think. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Let me have a look. There's a chart that you can look at. Because basically it goes up in increments. Um, so. So 110 is like the maximum. We're on 100. Um. I'm just trying to think what is the best thing. I can't. I did have a, um, a link that was giving me um, basically like a little chart that uh, shows you what the levels are. Um, 
think 105 probably. Maybe 30 would be better. I mean, it's getting all our resistances up as well. I just can't find what it was. Basically, I did have a little chart. Um, of all the different soft caps. Basically, like, as it goes up, they, they all give you, a, like, a certain percentage. Um, each, each, sorry, each point that it goes up, it gives you a percentage. Um... I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it. It's like basically it gives you like a certain amount of seconds. I, 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 to be honest, I'm just looking at things to actually invest in at the moment, just because. Uh, if I take that to 102, let's put a bit more into faith. I think get a bit more for fire bonus, a bit more defense. I'll do. I mean, the problem is with our build at the moment, we, we just, like, 150 used to be sort of the level um, that everyone would go for. Um, if you were doing PvP, but then they introduced the DLCs, uh, and then as soon as they did that, then obviously the level went up. People start coming out with, like, level 200 builds. I mean, it gives you a lot more flexibility. Um, what you want from your build with that higher level cap, but Twink. I'm looking forward to changing weapons to be honest. I think as soon as we get to the DLCs, which will be starting the next episode, I want to have a um, I want to at least mess around with the weapons and, and get something different going. Just because we've been, uh, we've, we've done the whole new thing. I've made it very, well, as hard as possible for myself uh, using these uh, little maces. To play for the game. Oh, we missed. I want to use something a bit more for fun. Just haven't decided what that's going to be yet. Right, so we've just got to take on uh, the Dragon Rider again. So that's why I'm just clearing out these mages here. So they can't bloody interfere. Oh, he's disappeared! Okay. So once you get the... the key and you defeat him, then he disappears. Okay, I didn't remember that. This, there's one other thing that we should have unlocked as well doing this. So, there's the soul of the king. They get you the sword. I believe. And this is the king's. Yeah, there's the king's set. Which is a pretty damn nice set, to be honest. Let's just feather. The least time that we're around here, the better, to be honest. And then I believe the other part should be open. Pretty decent lighting by here, actually. Unable to use. Wow, you need dexterity.
for this set. That's the steel armor. It's nuts, that is, isn't it? I mean, to be fair, it's a very nice set. But obviously, we're getting a lot of minuses right now. But yeah. It's, it's pretty nice, to be fair. I'd probably go with a different helmet. Um, it's probably other different... Like dark helms you could use. I mean that looks pretty badass to be fair. Uh, wouldn't go with that. The steel set. Uh, isn't this from Dark Souls 1? This is from Dark Souls 1. These are the big beefy boys that you came across all the time in Dark Souls 1 with the shields. Uh, pretty nice set as well. And obviously then you can use the King's Soul to get the sword. Um, and as I explained before, the sword is pretty interesting. It's got pretty, I would say pretty good, decent stats um, as a base level. But then if you carry around souls with you, I think it's, I think the maximum is 1 million souls. Then it increases its scaling dramatically. So when you get to the kind of the point of the game that we are, we, we don't really need need to level up it's still locked I thought man okay I thought for sure I know what it is it's because we haven't used the engraved key let's go and do that in a sec then we can come here And then we can finish. And basically, then I think once we've done this, we've basically finished everything. Um, we need the elevator. I can't remember as well. Is it only on um, New Game Plus, or is it as soon as you get the engraved key or embedded key? Key of the embedded. Yeah, because there's a um, invader that can appear here. I'm still very happy with my fashion souls, to be honest, at the moment. I just think uh, with the helmet and the mirror set, it does look very centurion. Use the embedded key. A lot of people use this is a uh, as a weapon it's a bit one of those trolley weapons that um, people tend to use right, we speak to her and she should disappear there we go ring of the dead Okay, another bit of a Fashion Souls item I would say that is. So basically, no matter if you're hollow or not, if you have that ring on, um, then you'll always look human at least. So, now is the gate open? Be very quick to check anyway. Nice build. It's a shame I'm not hollow. It's still locked! Ah! Is that because I'm alive? Do I need to be dead? Uh, have to figure that one out. Okay. Okay, I'll uh, I'll have to work that out. Um, yeah, all this there is there's a um, there's an invader. Um, is the poison katana, um, and there's obviously the shrine there that lets you infinitely. Um, 
reverse your hollowing. So basically, it's a backup if you run out of all of your human effigies. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it for the entirety of the main game. Um, apart from oh, Dark Lurker as well. We've got to do Dark Lurker. Okay. Um, I don't know when I'm going to fit that in. I think I definitely want to start the DLCs in the next episode. Um, so we'll do that. Um, so I haven't really got a preference on which one. Uh, but yeah, we've got all three of the keys already. Um, we know where all the entrances are. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to crack on with the DLCs next. I mean, what we may do is... Because there's nothing to really do at the end of the game apart from the bosses, we could do Dark Lurker straight into Nishandra and Aldia. Um, so yeah, that, that might be the final. Um, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you have, uh, like the video, subscribe for more, and I will catch you in the next one.